Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I've been on the hunt for the Hidden One's abandoned locations here in England, and I do believe I found the first location that you'll be able to get to upon arriving in England. Now, these are very important because they will provide you with the codex pages that you need for the Assassin's Bureau that you'll unlock when upgrading Ravensthorpe, and you'll also get very powerful items and equipment upon finding these locations. Now, this first one is just on the outskirts of Leticester or Leticestershire. Not exactly sure how to pronounce that. I know I, I pronounce it differently like almost every single time. But it's in this northeast corner here. And when you walk into this circular area, you're going to see the Hidden Ones symbol. And we've also got a, uh, a body here and a bag. So let's see what we got inside of both of these. We got some silver and a little bit more silver now i believe this is actually pointing to the location that we need to get into and i see that there's something to drop right there these puzzles seem like they might actually be relatively simple to get into here when you find these you probably just need to follow the kind of arrow that it's creating and it looks like all we might need to do is shoot this down and he's probably gonna break some rocks yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy we didn't even have to fight anybody this is an area where you will have to kind of make sure to not bring awareness to yourself make sure to equip your cloak when you're going through this town because they do pretty much hate your guts and then in this chest is going to be one of the items yes the hidden one's gloves this is my first piece that i've gotten of this equipment set and uh let's check them out in comparison to the Draugr bracers that we've had uh so they've got superior bracers uh armor 16. now the hidden one set increases assassination damage when crouched and undetected for 10 seconds additionally uh increases or additional increase the headshot damage which is actually pretty nice this will probably help you get better headshots uh, from afar and the armor isn't very bad we can upgrade this pretty quickly and I'm sure we can get it upgraded at our shop in the town, too. So for the next piece of Hidden One's armor, we're actually going to need to head to London. Now, you're not going to have to worry about the power level that's listed in the areas for these, because more often than not, you're not going to be near any one that's going to really bother you. And if you do, you can just ignore them and run away. But when you get to London, you're going to see this tree hanging off the wall. And you're going to see the Hidden One sign right there, or sign, um, flag. And we're just going to leap of faith right into here to get down into the area. Now, a lot of these Hidden Ones locations are going to have water that you're going to have to explore to actually get down into the right location. Uh, but with a little bit of looking around, you'll be able to find it without a problem. Now, for this particular one, when you see these stairs basically where you dive in, if you're facing the flag, you're going to swim straight down and go to the back left corner. There's going to be a breakable wall here that you burst through, and then we'll be able to get behind where everything actually is. These areas are actually just really, really pretty. And I love exploring these Hidden Ones locations. Looks like we can actually maybe break this one down no we'll just have to hop up there so there will be a couple different ways you can break through this if you have the bomb arrows you could use your bomb arrow ability or just explode those through the window and then you're just gonna hop along and get in through here easy peasy lemon squeezy now we're gonna get another codex page here which is definitely what we want and in here is going to be the hidden one's mask now this will get you that nice two-piece bonus but we do want all of the available bonuses so we got to get the rest of the equipment now in all of these locations there will always be more items to get so just make sure to thoroughly explore each area and collect all the chests available before leaving next up we need to go to essex and on the southeastern corner, you're going to see these set of stairs here. And if you decide to use uh, Munin, you can actually see exactly where we need to go, which is inside of here. Now, there's this little hole here that's got rocks on it. You're going to have to find a way to blow those up. 
I've got the exploding arrow ability, so that's what I'll be using to take that out. Uh, but it's relatively easy. This is a higher power area, but as I mentioned, you really don't need to be concerned about this. If you use this lift, somebody might get alerted to you. They just walked by, so they're not going to see us. Uh, but then you can just hop right down into here, and nobody's going to be the wiser of your presence. When you swim into this room, there's going to be two pathways. If you're looking at this door, you're going to take the right one. You're going to swim through the path, and you're going to go around, and you're going to come up on that side. You're just going to hop across to this side, hop down, and then we're going to have to do a little bit more swimming to actually get to the loot room. If I could just, instead of hopping back and forth, actually go through, that'd be fan diddly -tastic. And when we swim down, we're going to see the key here that we need to collect. There's a bunch of other loot that you can grab down here for some silver if you so desire. Uh, but these keys are going to open up the doors that we need to actually get into the room. It's a little bit more puzzly than the last few ones. I don't think this key will work for this door. Oh, no, it will. Well, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Man, there's always so much, like, loot here. And it's never, like, a ton of items. It just gets you, like, a little bit of stuff. And then leaves you wanting more. It's also so dark down here. Now, once you're in this room, all you need to do is just uh, shoot off the things that are barricading your doors. Fortunately, we can't see that one that's in the front, which means we need to go all the way back to the other side to unlock that one. So we got to climb back up and hippity hoppity across. And we'll be able to open up this door here. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We've got our next piece. The Hidden One's Hood. We got another key, which is going to open up another door, so that way you can collect the rest of the loot in this particular area. There's a ton of things to read. Also, always make sure to collect your codex pages. That way you can complete your Hidden One's mission. There's tons and tons of things to actually be read in here if you want to get more lore uh, for what we're doing. Can I actually get out of this one? Yeah. Now this key that you picked up in here will unlock the door for the loot that's in there. Now this next one is in Winchester, which is a power level 250, but as long as you're careful and just ignore everyone, you shouldn't have any issues getting this next one. I even aggroed a whole bunch of people accidentally and was still able to hide relatively easily. Now we're going to be looking for this area right here. We can literally just jump right into it or not jump right into it. God, I hate how it automatically jumps across rather than going down. Oh, my God. Man, see, you'll be all right. <laughs> Man. Like, yeah, I want to jump on top of everything, not into the nice, safe water away from everybody. Uh, but once again, you just kind of got to navigate through here and figure out exactly where we need to. I'm just kind of winging it right now. I have no idea where I'm going, but it seems like we're going the right way. Maybe. We got some shiny bits in here. We got some loot. Looks like we might actually run out of air. Oh, nope. We have got some air pockets. And I believe we actually made it right <laughs> to where we needed to be, essentially. Nice. There are a couple different ways you can go about finishing this puzzle. If you move this door, there's going to be those bombs right there. But you'll need to grab those bombs and blow up this little rock wall, which will get you into the main bureau area, which will have the next piece of equipment, another codex piece, and plenty of other loot to be had. And we got the, the, the Tunger's Claw. Let's actually take a look at what that looks like. So I've been using uh, dual blades, basically, two mythical daggers, and I gotta say, I am absolutely in love with that right now. So this is a flawless dagger, attack 76, Increases critical damage after each hit up to 10 times. That is ridiculously good. Um, that is way better than anything that I've been using already. And its stats are amazing as well. So that's actually going to get equipped on my main hand to replace my mythical dagger. And I uh, highly recommend using two daggers. The damage is insane. If you haven't seen two daggers in use here, I'll show you how quick they attack right now. All right. You know what? We got to throw the stupid torch away. There we go. Look at that. That's insane. It's ridiculous. The next location is northwest of where we just were. Pretty much on the edge of the map. 
Now, if you approach from the road right here, it's going to be very easy to find. You're going to see these two statues here pointing at the ground with the hidden one symbol kind of there in the ground. And the entrance is literally right here. Now, you are going to want to have your, uh, your torch equipped for this one. There will be some poison clouds that are going to be in here. And they will burn away as long as you have your torch out. So just keep that in mind. Pretty easy. We just got to make our way through here. And we'll be able to get another piece of equipment. Of course, there's going to be some boxes in the way. Slide through. Yeah. As I mentioned, any of these gas clouds, as long as you have your torch, <laughs> you might get lit on fire. <laughs> But uh, the torch will burn away the gas and kind of light you on fire a little bit. So this last puzzle here, you can go ahead and just throw your torch and then you got to carry one of these exploding things through here. We need to blow up a wall that is on the other side. I believe it is right over here somewhere. Of course, it's so dark in here. I think it's right there. Yep. But it's fine. It's fine. It comes with the territory. <laughs> Can we open this though, please? Now this gives us the hidden one's leggings. Obviously, once again, make sure to collect everything in the area. Now for this last piece of equipment, you're gonna need to travel quite a long ways. I highly recommend taking a longboat and just setting it on autopilot. Uh, we're going to need to go to North Umbria, and we're going to need to get to, like, right about here. If you just place a marker basically right about there in autopilot, it'll take you right to where you need to go. Now, once you get here, we're basically going to be looking for the southeastern corner of the wall. And if you use your bird, you're going to see that breakable entrance right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. So go ahead and break this... Okay. <laughs> Dual blades, man. They're crazy. Uh, but we're going to have to drop in here and obviously, once again, continue to solve our puzzles, which are, for some reason, always underwater. And this will reward us the final piece, which is the chest piece. And this puzzle is quite a bit easier than the rest of them. Once you enter this big room with all these hoppy areas, you're going to go to the right side of the room and just hop across here. It's going to be this uh, shelf that you're going to need to move to reveal this hidden hole. Uh, you're going to hop across directly here. And then through here, you're going to turn left. You're going to slide through this next hole. And then you're going to open this door. And wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. At the back of this room, going to be a wonderful... Ch oh, we got to find a key. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Where is there a key? Of course, it's going to be in here. <laughs> so that key for that door is actually at the top of this scroll rack. Which is a very weird place to keep a key. Um, but regardless, now we've got access to the chest piece. There we go. The hidden one's robes. We've got the key for that other chest now as well. Just make sure once again to loot everything that you can in the area. I'm actually curious. Oh, this is just going to be another one of those uh, carbon ingots, most likely. Ooh, no, this one's a tungsten ingot. Perfect. Now, one thing that's nice about these particular equipment pieces is they already come upgraded to the most that they can be for their current quality. And now you can upgrade these at the blacksmith to a higher quality. Um, and they seem like they're going to end up being really, really good pieces of gear. Now, the inter it's interesting that all the other pieces are fully upgraded, except for the Hidden One's gloves. I'm not sure why those aren't fully upgraded. It is a little strange, because even our Stunder's Claw is fully upgraded. We can upgrade this to... We also get a new appearance on this once we create a Mythical Dagger out of it, which is pretty nice. So all of this equipment is fully battle. upgraded is going to be extremely you later, good. Especially if you plan on kind there. of running like a stealthy build. And I really like the way it looks without actually having the, uh, the chest piece shown. Because you can actually hide each individual piece of the clothing if you so desire. 
Uh, but the boosts on here are really nice. So it increases assassination damage when crouched and undetected for 10 seconds, which if you want to play more like an assassin, this is going to be the perfect set for you. Now, once we have our five piece bonus, we get additional uh, increase to headshot damage, which comes in really handy. Once again, if you're trying to be stealthy and taking people out with headshots. I figured you might want to see this equipment in action, especially with the dual blades. I just love them. I started using them in the live streams, and I gotta say, they might be a little too OP. Uh, the speed at which they attack is just ridiculous, and the damage is astronomical. Of course, there's not more people. There's one unsuspecting foe. Uh, it's really great because they just kind of get stun-locked into it, and they don't stand a chance. But anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one.